What's up everyone, Hunter and Carol from Misfit Athletics here today to give you some tips on the dumbbell thruster. One of the most common issues we see with athletes is they let the dumbbells kind of hang off of the shoulders and that prevents the athlete from maximizing the hip extension from, that, uh, from standing up out of the bottom of that squat to assist in the press. When the dumbbells are hanging off the shoulders, it becomes way, way more muscularly demanding than it needs to be. So Caroline's just gonna demo two or three reps of what we don't want to see. Don't do it. Okay, so the dumbbell heads are not on her shoulders. Look at how difficult those 25 pound dumbbells are for Caroline. Good, relax, okay? So with those dumbbells, yeah, injured, <laughs> done. Dumbbells are hanging off the shoulders. She's not able to maximize the leg drive to assist with that thruster. So two things we want to happen. One, get the flat heads of the dumbbells resting on the shoulders. Okay. Second thing is to think about as the athlete is trying to keep the arms a little bit closer to the ears and to the head as she presses and as she brings them down. If you bring those dumbbells way out wide, that makes it significantly more likely that you're going to let the dumbbells kind of slide off the shoulders. So Caroline will get those dumbbells up. She gets the flat head resting on top of her shoulders. Notice where her elbows are at. And then she's just going to do three or four reps really emphasizing that hip extension, and then the dumbbells come back down on top of that shoulder. Good, relax. Okay, so when you guys are working through dumbbell thrusters, try to get the flat side of that dumbbell resting on top of the shoulder to maximize the hip extension, and then try to keep the arms relatively close to the head so that they're not drifting way out wide and resulting in the dumbbells coming off those shoulders. Give it a shot, we'll see you guys next time.